Epigenetics is a phenomenon, especially if you're looking into a multicellular organism like a human or a mouse, you see every single cell have the same genetic component, but each cell has a different function. Now, if you look into the cellular nucleus or where the genetic material is stored, these genetic materials in different cells have undergone different kind of modification. Essentially, your genetic material DNA wrapped around the histone molecule and makes the chromatin, which is essentially constituting your genes. Now, these genes are transcriptionally on or off based on the epigenetic program that is imposed on them. Now, if you look into the epigenetic program, what is on the genes, you will see predominantly their methylation of DNA and methylation acetylation of histone molecule and there are also ribosylation and some other histone modification takes place. But for simplicity factor DNA methylation is one of the primary epigenetic molecule that is sitting on the DNA. In mammalian DNA it is essentially 5-methyl cytosine where the cytosine residue gets converted to 5-methyl cytosine by a set of enzymes which are con co named as DNA cytosine 5 methyl transferase. There are 3 enzymes and these are essential in development and they put the epigenetic pattern onto the DNA. It is a very complicated process. It starts right from the fertilization till the mammal is, adult mammal is uh, uh, taken birth. When we talk about methylation tag, basically think about a situation where a train is going on a railway track. You put a big stone on the track and when the train hits the big stone, it can get derailed. So the train does not go from destination A to B. Think about methylation tag very similar to a train track where a big metal molecule is sitting on the track and the proteins that are reading this DNA molecule, suddenly they are reading through and see this big gigantic methylation tag and they get confused, they fall off. So as a result, the DNA to RNA or the messenger that is supposed to be synthesized by reading the DNA, that is never made. And if there is no messenger, there is no protein. So, by putting methylation, essentially you are silencing that particular gene and the protein is not produced.